Hello friends, AnyPoint Studio 7.10 version has been launched recently and it brings lot of changes which support the overall productivity of the developers. And in this video, we are going to discuss these new updates in detail. So before we proceed, do subscribe to my channel in case if you haven't already done so, so that you will get the regular notifications of the videos that I post on my channel. So let's proceed and let's see what's new in AnyPoint Studio 7.10. So I have downloaded 7.10 version of AnyPoint Studio. In case you haven't, the link is provided in the description section to download this latest version. So I have created one sample application, which I'm going to use to show you the changes that are involved. So first is about refactoring and renaming of flows and subflows. So you will notice here that in my main flow, I have used one flow reference component, which makes a call to this goodbye flow. Now what used to happen till version 7.9 is in case you update the name of this uh, private flow or subflow, then in that case, you need to go to the flow reference and you have to update the name at that place as well otherwise your mule application will throw an error and that is kind of a challenging when you have a, a particular subflow or a private flow which is getting referenced by multiple flows now in this release you don't have to worry about that because any point studio will take care of it and let me show you how so we are going to update the name here and let's change it to updated name flow i'm just giving the uh, dummy name here just to show you the change over here now i saved it now when i go to this flow reference you will see the flow name has been updated automatically we don't need to update it manually over here if i now again change it to goodbye and save it then you can see the flow name has been updated here as well automatically. So we don't need to take care of pointing our flow reference for any refactoring that we do in subflow or even the error handler name because 7.10 will take care of it automatically as I have already shown it to you. So now let's move on to our second change. The second most important feature introduced in this version is about the metadata propagation. Till now, developers have no control on the what part of mule message we can propagate to a flow or subflow from our main or the parent flow. For example, when I'm calling this flow reference, then in that case, the complete mule event is passed to this goodbye flow. That includes the attributes, message and the uh, variables, everything. Now, what if I do not want to propagate the variable metadata? Does the latest studio update allow me to do that? The answer is absolutely yes. Now let me show you how we can do it. So we can click on this flow reference and we can go to metadata tab. And here we will get the option whether propagate this flow reference metadata to the reference flow. And here we can set the metadata. I can click on customize and that will give me the option on which metadata I want to pass on to this particular subflow and I have the control on what to pass or what not to pass. So isn't it a cool feature? Now one more feature regarding this metadata propagation is about when you extract the particular, uh, the particular activities or set of activities to a, uh, to a separate flow, by default, all the, uh, all the metadata gets associated with that subflow. So for example, when I click on this transform message and I click on this extract to then all the metadata get transferred. Now we do have control over this metadata as well. When I click on extract to and uh, click on this flow here, I can select the metadata preference. And with this, I can select if I want to propagate the variables over there or not. So let me click on uh, cancel. So with this, now let's move to the next studio update. So before I move ahead with the third update, in case you, if you are planning for MCD or MCI certification exam, and if you're looking for Udemy practice test, then I do have a perfect course for you in the description box. You can ping me or you can message on the telegram ID for discount coupons. So now moving ahead in 7.9, the toggle was introduced 
to switch between the dark and light theme and it was using uh, this button with this latest version your operating system appearance preference will be automatically applied so in case if you are using the dark theme in your laptop then you don't need to explicitly change it or set it over here that change would automatically be picked up looking or looking at or reading your windows preferences now in my case my windows preference is not set to dark theme hence you are seeing this uh, light theme at the moment now let's move to our fourth feature so the next update is about your module dependencies until 7.9 studio has no mechanism to find out when a new version of an asset is available unless user manually checks for each of the project for update now with this 7.10 the notification center has been provided so which will notify the users whenever there is any update about the asset which is being used in the open project in that entire workspace so you can see here i have got prompt here saying that module updates are available and now with just single dialog i can manage the dependencies or the updated uh, versions of all the components of all the modules which are there in my project so we can uh, we can uh, choose those updates directly from the pop up which appears in this right hand side corner or we can also click on this manage mo uh, manage mule modules and using this also we can update those dependencies so that's it in this video if you observe any other updates in the 7.10 version do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video thank you and happy learning